Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful, beautiful evening here on the farm. But today's video is about laying plastic mulch for strawberries. Last week, Thursday, or Thursday evening, Isaac and I, we had a hustle and bustle to get all the plastic laid for strawberries. The next Friday or last Friday, we got about two inches of rain. So uh, we had a little plastic mulch for strawberries. We ended up laying 24,000 feet of plastic and drip tape from about 7 in the evening. It's about 1.30 at night. So uh, we were just going ham. We had to get it done. But strawberry plants are showing up next week. So the plants or the plastic is out there getting ready. We're getting ready to lay irrigation system and just get ready for planting strawberries. But today's video is just a raw footage form of me and Isaac laying plastic mulch with the strawberries. We're using our Rainflow 2600 2 Series. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Tractor's got to stop. We had more help out here tonight. Tractor wouldn't stop. Obviously, at this end of the row, someone else at that end of the row, someone will be on the mulch layer. That's all right. Part of it. Got to make sure the drip tape doesn't move. We're bearing it two inches in the ground. So, uh, got to make sure that's going. Got to run and catch up. You can tell I don't run much. Auto road track is going. Everything's running smoothly. Technically, there doesn't need to be anybody on the mulch layer, but that's all right. The drip tape is almost out. Isaac, watch the drip. The drip is almost out. I'll yell at you though.
perfect conditions right here. Go forward a little bit, but make sure it doesn't go too much. Slow, don't, don't accelerate. A little more. Yeah. Give me one of those couplers. Tape it's blue with the emitters there or where the blue part is. Make sure we pull this up. Close up the locket. What I do here, pull it through, pull the new one through underneath. There, like that. And you want to connect both ends to a connector here. And we're midway here. We're probably uh, five. 400 foot now 300 foot into a row here so that's the only way I don't know how to do it but I'm gonna chop this end off a little bit it's messed up we don't want any tiny holes in drip okay, I think perfect put it there it tight. Okay, he's gonna go forward slowly and make sure I feed this connector. First of all, don't make sure you pull it. You ready? Yeah, but slow. Real slow. Yeah. Keep going. All right, we're good to go. That's how you swap drip tape. I'm in the room here. Oh, there's deer walking through my thing. See all those tracks, we gotta put a deer fence. Probably won't get to it tonight, but tomorrow morning, first thing. Go ahead, Isaac. Yeah.
Let's go. Go ahead. <sighs> Must be nice having a seat here. Yeah, go ahead, Isaac. Always make sure the drip tape is flowing. track lighting up when it's moving auto track is run by the cylinder those sensors control that cylinder it moves back and forth try to keep the row sort of straight they're not a hundred straight but it's better than me trying to do it without the auto tracks and at least if there's curves or you know they're more it's a bigger curve so it's not as as sharp turning but yeah, that's how that system works. It's connected to the battery in the tractor. And you can see that when the lights flicker, flicker on, uh, that means it's kicking on the sensor and then it's moving it fairly straight. So there's about a three or four inch play window there. 